Hi, welcome to Java tutorials. So in this OOPS concept, you will learn what is encapsulation. Encapsulation is nothing but it is a process of wrapping the code into a single unit of piece. Means what are the codes we are using wrapping into a single unit just like tablets, right? So for example, Java package. So Java package contains number of classes. Same like number of classes. So we are wrapping this code, all the classes into one package. What are the class you want to access? You need to access through the package. So it is having multiple classes into a one package. And you will have a control over the data. What are the data we are using? Variables, data members, methods, everything you will have a control. Data will be hidden by other classes so it is also called data hiding means we are using uh, private so what are the variables we are declaring we should use as a private that is the main encapsulation can be achieved by declaring all the variables as private in the class and declaring public methods in the class so we need to use private variables for each and every variables and uh, what are the class we are methods using that will be accessed by the public and we need to use the set and get methods these methods we need to access the variables so what is the use means easy for data hiding and easy for a unit testing testing what are the testing you want to do unit testing that is easy and the code will be reusability so what are the private variables you need to use set and get method we can use for another classes so i will show you the example see i have a public class student so declaring the variables with private let me declare private student student age right private student name private int student roll number this will be access with the help of set and get method so we need to use public so int sorry student age right student age should be written student age right so why it is coming mario t u r l same like we need to use for this uh, string here string set student name so here int student roll number plus we need to pass this one plus we need to pass with a roll number okay now we need to use get get so public or it will come public uh, int y get student age so we need to use int new age so this here it is coming as so remove this one okay let's remove this one we can uh, use student age equal to new age right so same thing we need to use for another two methods public y get student what is this name Yes, we have to use 
That's why it is giving error. New roll number student. So we need to assign those variables. What are the private variables I'm using? So we need to assign this variable to public. Okay, I'm returning this one and assigning those with new variable. So now the variables are public here, right? So let me create another class. That is for uh, encapsulation testing. So the public starting void main. Yes, you have to create. What you have to create? The student object equal to new student object. I have created object for student class now student dot set yeah, I think here I have written a wrong one yes you have to Here, here it will come as a set, not the get. It will come as set. Okay. Now, now here it will come as get. So that's why we are getting confused. Here returning, this value is returning. That's why get. Here. <coughs> value is not returning why because we are using void so we are setting that this private variables into the public so now now you can see here student dot set student age you can set as 10 year now student dot set here is student name Right, student dot set student number. Let it go minus ten. Is off. What you have to enter? Student age is. So what it will come? Student dot get student age. No plus. Slash n now the plus student name is now the plus student dot get student name now the plus double quotation space n now it's space double quotation now student wrong number is now the plus student dot now it will come get roll number student roll number right yeah this one whatever it is doing is not okay now what happens where it is here right now what happens encapsulation I have created all the private variables I'm hiding the data and storing that variables into public methods and I'm getting that storing that public private variables into public 
variables now it will become public so so let me run this one run as java application student age is 10 student name is ramesh kishana student role number is 24 so what happens what are our private variables i have created in the encapsulation method class i am using set and get methods to call those variables and convert them into public variables and calling that into another class okay you understood right so in this one you can use uh, encapsulation methods encapsulation classes so thank you for watching my video please subscribe to my videos and uh, please provide your valuable comments on this video please share my videos thank you for watching my video